Good morning everybody and welcome to the anatomy tutorial series. In this first video, I'll show and describe how to draw the brachial plexus. First thing, you want to start from the five roots of the nerves, C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. Draw a straight line between C5 and C6. Then, draw two lines for C7, leaving a bit of space between the two. And finally, the third one, between C8 and T1. Right after the roots, we have the trunks, which are defined considering their anatomical location. The trunk which originates from C5 and C6 is defined superior, the one from C7 is the middle one, and the one from C8 and T1 is inferior. Where the trunks come together, we call those segments divisions. Draw an arrow between the superior and the inferior chord, with the apex on the middle one, and complete the X shape between the superior and the middle chords. With respect to the axillary artery, the divisions originated from C5, C6 and C7 are anterior, as well as the one from C8 and T1. The divisions from C5 to T1, which will form the radial and axillary nerves, are located posteriorly. Now move distally, complete the M shape which gives origin to the median nerve and draw the fork from the middle cord, which will form two more branches for a total of five. After labeling the two final segments, let's name the five main branches. From C5, C6 and C7 we have the musculocutaneous nerve. The axillary nerve comes from the fork. The median nerve from C5 to T1. The radial nerve again from the fork and the ulnar nerve from C8 and T1. Now that we are familiar with the basic structure, let's add some details. From C5 we have a branch that contributes to form the phrenic nerve, which innervates the diaphragm. From C5, C6 and C7 we have the long thoracic nerve, which innervates the serratus anterior muscle. From the superior trunk we have the subscapular nerve and the nerve to subclavius. All the next branches come out from the cord segment. The lateral pectoral nerve from the anterosuperior cord and, on the opposite side, from the anteroinferior cord, we have the medial pectoral nerve, the medial brachial nerve, and the medial antebrachial nerve. From the posterior cord, right before the fork, you can label the superior subscapular nerve, the middle subscapular nerve, also called thoracodorsal nerve, which innervates the latissimus dorsi muscle, and finally, the inferior subscapular nerve. This is it guys, I hope it was helpful. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to the channel and leave me a topic in the comment section down below. I'll see you next time, thanks for watching.